When automating business processes, Salesforce offers two powerful tools for business process automation, Flow and Apex. In this video, we'll break down their key differences and help you decide which is the best fit for your automation needs. In this video, we'll be discussing two different tools, Flow and Apex, and identifying their strengths and weaknesses. We'll be assessing each tool against a key requirement and seeing which tool is best for each job. Understanding Automation Tools Salesforce Flow, a user-friendly drag-and-drop tool with pre-built components, ideal for non-coders to create workflows easily. Salesforce Apex a robust programming language offering advanced customization and control but requires developer expertise. Understanding Salesforce Flow and Apex? Apex, introduced at Dreamforce 2006, marked a significant milestone in Salesforce platform customization. It enabled customers and third parties to extend core functionality using Salesforce's own programming language. Released alongside Visual Force, which is similar to HTML for building custom interfaces, Apex has since evolved. While Aura components have been replaced by Lightning Web components, Apex and LDUC remain the core technologies widely used today. Flow was first introduced in 2012 as Cloudflow Designer, enabling users to create visual workflows. In 2019, Salesforce introduced Flow Builder, a modern non-flash alternative with an improved interface and more functionality. Flow Builder has since become the primary automation tool, replacing workflow rules and process builders. There are five types of flows. One, screen flow, custom UI for user interaction. Two, record triggered flow, activates on record creation, update, or deletion. Three, scheduled, triggered flow, runs at a specified time and frequency. Four, platform event flow, triggered by platform event messages. Five, auto-launched flow, initiated by Apex, Process Builder, or REST API. Key difference between Salesforce Flow and Apex. The key difference between these tools is that Flow is a click-based declarative tool, while Apex and LWC are code-based, programmatic. While declarative tools are often seen as easier, Flow, like its programmatic counterparts, requires best practices in architecture and design. Though Flow is more user-friendly for beginners due to its structured, guided approach, it still has its own syntax and complexity. In contrast, Apex and LWC offer greater flexibility and functionality, but require strict adherence to syntax. While Flow is a great starting point with pre-built components, Apex and LWC offer more powerful customization and capabilities. When to use Flow and Apex? You don't have programming expertise in your team. You need a quick and easy solution. Use Flow when you need to automate simple processes like updating fields, sending emails, or creating records. Use Apex when you need complex logic or advanced functionalities like data manipulation or custom calculations. You need to integrate with external systems using API. You require robust error handling and debugging capabilities. You're dealing with large data sets or bulk data processing. Conclusion. Salesforce offers many different tools and it is up to knowledgeable admins, developers, architects, and consultants to determine the best strategy, the best tool for the problem, and offer businesses the best possible experience using a combination of these tools. By understanding the strengths and limitations of Flow and Apex, you can make informed decisions about automating your Salesforce processes. Whether you choose the user, friendly Flow or Apex, both tools empower you to streamline workflows and boost efficiency within your Salesforce org. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights on the latest Salesforce tools and trends. See you in the next video.